Hey guys, it's Trice here, formerly known as Mr. Dragon Triple Zero, back with Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game in the most torquiest engine series. We're going to be building this inline 3 engine with the most torque as of this video. This is a brand new series of engines after getting the most power out of all of them, whether if it's the naturally aspirated, turbocharged, and small ones. Since building an engine with an insane amount of torque isn't thought about in this game, I might as well start things off and do it. So now, let's kick the series off with this here inline 3 engine. So first things first, for the year, you bring the year up to the year of 2020 to get the most performance, reliability, and everything about the engine. And after choosing the inline 3 configuration, you can choose any block material that you can choose from. For the bore, you max this out to 120 millimeters. And for the stroke, you raise this up to 115 millimeters which gets the family capacity at 3,902 cubic centimeters around 3.9 liters and we're going to be using dual overhead cam 5 valves made out of whatever head material that you could choose from. For the crankshaft it's got to be the strongest ones as possible so build steel crankshaft, lightweight titanium cow rods, and regular forged pistons. And for the quality slider as you see here you bring this up to a plus 15 for everything you see here to get the most performance, torque, and everything that makes up this engine. For the compression, you set this to a fairly high 10.7 to 1 ratio. The cam profile raises up barely to a 45, and of course, VVT at all cams. For the turbocharger, of course, ball bearings because it's the best one out of all of them. Wait till 4.2 comes out until December and make this thing even better. So enough of that. For the inner core, you raise it up to 891 horsepower right here. The compressor lowered this down to 56 millimeters. The turbine lowered this way down to 49.5 millimeters. The AR ratio, you max out to a 1.4. Same thing for the max boost at 43.5 PSI. For the fuel system, of course, we're using a direct injection throttle per cylinder race intake running on ultimate fuel with the fuel mixture backed out to a 10.0 like every single video they've done on here for the ignition timing raises up a little bit to a 65 and the rpm would set to a fairly low 3900 rpm right on the mark there wow for the headers, of course, short cast headers thanks to it being turbocharged with a single exhaust with the exhaust diameter set to 127 millimeters, which equals to 5 inches. And of course, no cats, no buffers bring that quality up. And we get the horsepower rating of 641.8 horsepower, 3900 RPM. And for the highlight of this video is the torque, which we do get the torque rating of 1030.3 pounds feet of torque at 2900 RPM. And you can see already with this engine, we got a lot of RPM and torque stress issues with this engine it sucks about inline three engines these are pretty fragile if you increase the stroke out for this type of engine and as if it increases by one click at 4000 rpm boom the engine no longer runs you can't export this to bmg drive and it won't work whatsoever all right in just a sec i'm gonna give you a hear of what this engine sounds like while playing around with it with the manual testing mode i'll cycle through all the graphs on here starting from the power and torque then moving on to the torque and boost, torque and efficiency, and power and efficiency. After showing you all those graphs, I'll show you the engine that is currently ripped apart, except for the turbocharger and headers to watch it glow red, and doing some fake gear shifts, and that's going to be ending off our video right then and there. So now, I'll go back to the power and torque graph, and give you here this engine right now.
not an interesting sounding engine, but turbocharger goes whoosh, and hopefully this beats a Cummins. So that'll do it with Automation the Car Company Tycoon game with this torque-heavy inline-3 engine. Well, this is a good start for this series. It does have an excellent power number in terms of horsepower. For the torque, it's excellent. If the engine wasn't that fragile with a smaller than usual stroke size, I think the torque rating would have been like 50 pounds feet of torque more than what I got, but I'll take it. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including my automation to BMG Drive videos too. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.